All right, welcome back, you glorious bastards and magnificent. It is I, Doc Camo, and we're back for another thought of the day. And I've been conquering the day the last two. I started a uh, 12 week, 12 or 13 week battle plan. Um, That's how winning is done. I started writing my book again. I'm doing this, I'm doing the other podcast. I, I was wasting so much time cleaning, exercising, bonding with my dog, doing my hobbies. It's being great. Uh, speaking of which, we have a new goal here. We want to reach 500 subscribers across all platforms uh, by July. Just just because like that's our goal. Boom, we want to be there. We're, we're reaching for it, and we're going to go there, and we're going to get there. We can help you. Uh, it would be awesome if those were on our actual mailing list on our website, www.thatsapoint.squarespace.com, or an actual membership but that's later down the road right now we're just trying to build viewership and such you know we're trying to just insulate ourselves from the censorship machine going on because this fight has only begun uh we're going to talk about a bunch of today um we're going to talk about Ian musk he's in the news again uh we're going to talk about uh some cult <laughs> uh the israeli arab peace treaty that donald trump set up well yeah that that's that's over and um, people don't want to work, it seems. <laughs> Winning. No. You suck. I don't know why people don't want to work. It just it seems like they don't want to work. So let's get into this first story here. And um, Elon Musk, the myth, the man, the legend, the Doge father. Whether Tesla did sell any cars for Bitcoin remains unclear. And the company isn't saying. But it's like Bitcoin prices slumped 17% Wednesday night. Before recovering some of the losses after Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla would suspend accepting the crypto theory as payment for its cars due to environmental concerns. Yeah, they rich people do this to get them to fucking dip and people to panic sell and then they dip and then you buy the dip and then you make money off it. Like they've been doing that for like decades. So it's like winning. No, um, you suck. If you sold and you panic sold and whatnot, I have no sympathy for you because they've been doing it long enough that you should know the game. Uh, we are concerned about rapidly increases use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions for any fuel, Musk said on Twitter. Uh, Bitcoin people actually go to the places where it's more economically cost effective to actually mine. So they're a lot really using places that have renewable energy sources on hand. And you, your electric cars use lithium batteries, and that's mined by African children. Um, yeah. <laughs> Winning! No. You suck! Uh, the Tesla billionaire founder added, though, although cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels with the promising future, it shouldn't come at great cost to the environment. I mean, everything comes at a great cost to the environment. I, I really think he's just trying to make that dip down. Dip down by the dip. That's how winning is done. Dip down by the dip. That's how winning is done. Uh, Bitcoin quickly dropped after the tweet from nearly 55,000 to 45,700, the lowest since early March before edging back to more than 51,000 in Asian trading on Thursday. Tesla had announced on February 8th that it had bought 1.5 billion of Bitcoins and it would accept it as payment. <laughs> Video, Tesla suspends payment, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we already know that. Tesla stock drops after Elon Musk's car sales crypto will be halted due to the energy. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, whether Tesla did sell any car for Bitcoin remains unclear, and the company isn't saying. Meanwhile, the episode shows yet again that if one person can dramatically alter its spending power, the stable store value criteria of the currency is not met, as noted by UB Tree Province, but I'm a read Bitcoin bulls media. I think that's going to be it for this story. Uh, Tesla, man. Musk. What are you doing? The dollar is, I, 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 the dollar is crazy. It's crazy f***ed up. And it's devaluing daily. Winning. No. And you're trying to, like, steal. Like, this is what rich hedge fund bags do to, like, manipulate people into stealing their value. Winning. No. You suck. You manipulated and people into selling valuable assets so you could make money. Winning. No. You suck. I mean, I respect the hustle. I really do. Because it is a hustle. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I thought you were better than that, man. You suck. I mean, I guess, I guess the the coming days are gonna. It's, it's really gonna be trying for men. I mean, the the for people gas. There's lines of gas. There's gas shortages. Some people are running out of food in places. Um, there are microchip and processor shortages, labor shortages, which we'll get. Well, yeah, labor shortages, which we'll get into later on in the podcast. And all of this is amalgamating together for like a huge explosion. It's gonna we actually it's gonna implode. It's gonna explode in our face, and we're gonna look like Biff from fucking Back to the Future, and nobody's gonna be happy. <laughs> So don't do that anymore. Don't panic sell, especially with assets like property, uh, Bitcoin, crypto, like things that are appreciating va assets of value that gain more money as life goes on. You want to hold on to those as much as you can because that's your real wealth, your net wealth, your net wealth, it may, all your property, like everything combined together. That is what your net worth is. So when somebody says Tesla's worth blah, 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 net worth, that's not just his companies. E Musk's worth, whatever his net worth is. I don't know what it is, but that's not just his companies. That's his property, his investments, his, it's his entire portfolio. And people, you need to start thinking that too. Like, don't do, not, did any of these guys sell? No, none of them sold any of their Bitcoin. They just said they weren't accepting payment anymore. But they didn't sell any of it. So if they're not selling any of it, these rich people, and you think it's like it's the market's going to crash or something, then why did you sell it? Seriously. Why did you follow suit and sell it? You were manipulated into selling your valuable assets for fucking a depreciating asset. You were conned. You were bamboozled. <laughs> Hoodwinked. <laughs> Winning. No. You suck. Oh, that is not how winning is done. <laughs> that is really not how winning is done. I'm just fucking saying. <laughs> Moving right along the the Gaza slash the Palestine slash Israel or the Hamas slash Israel military fighting has started again. Gee, I wonder why. Is it because Don uh, Donald Trump? had the balls to actually enforce the treaty and joe biden is a cuck and can't and he's a demented cuck <laughs> anyways let's get into it um arab jewish violence rages on israel streets as gaza conflicts intensifies violence raged on the streets of israel late wednesday with the rival arab and jewish mobs carrying out beatings and torching cars in the wave of communal unrest as the conflict with Palestine militants in Gaza intensified and the death toll grew to at least 90 political leaders in Israel urged an end to the anarchy on the streets of mixed ethnicity towns across the country. I mean, oh my God. Winning. No. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to restore order with an iron fist if necessary after nights of violence. It doesn't matter to me that your blood is boiling. You can take that law and you, you can't take the law in your own hands. My God, fucking people! You suck. This conflict's been going on for retaking since the Crusades, maybe. Like winning? No. You suck. You suck. This is oh, fuck. at least eighty-three Palestinians and several Israelis have been killed as the Israeli military and the militant group Hamas continued to exchange barrages of airstrikes and rocket attacks. Officials on either side said Israel has prepared combat troops along the Gaza border and was in various stages of preparing ground operations, a military spokesman said. The chief of staff is inspecting those preparations and providing guidance, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Kuriko said. Like I said, so you're going to go into a ground war? Winning. No. <laughs> you suck. Can we just stop killing each other? Like, seriously. I mean, this doesn't affect me in, in America, but it, what the people meanwhile tensions and clashes that flared weeks ago in jerusalem have spread across israel of course they have uh in load of near in laud near tel aviv groups of jewish and arab people ignoring ignored a nighttime curfew and battled in the streets throwing stones of Molotov cocktails two people were shot and killed and one israeli drew was stabbed there police said what the fuck, man? 
In nearby Bat Yam, in Israel, mob dragged an Arab motor motorist from his car and attacked him, leaving him in a serious condition. Like, the people are just fucking murdering each other. Winning! No. And the occupied West Bank, the Israeli military said it had thwarted a Palestine shooting attack that wounded two people, according to the Associated Press. The Palestinian health minister said the suspected gunman was killed. No details were immediately available, the AP said. Why? I don't care about that. The domestic violence... Stop it! Completely stop it. The domestic violence was among the worst since 2000 Palestinian infada. While well, Israeli's president, Renouven Rivalin, urged against the senseless civil war, international figures warned that the conflict between Israeli forces and Palestinians in Gaza risks spiraling towards all-out war. They're already in all-out fucking war if they're bombing each other and... Oh my god. You suck! Am I the only one that gets gets that? I, I can't be the only one that understands that, right? Winning. No. You suck. And just where we were. Yeah. Boom. In a call to Netanyahu on Wednesday, President Joe Biden conveyed his unwavering support for Israel's security and for Israel's legitimate right to defend itself and its people while protecting civilians, according to the White House statement. You just want war so you can fucking sell weapons and war in the Middle East. It's all you fucking care about, you piece. Of uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken called Palestine's President Mohammed Abbas and condemned the rocket attacks and emphasized the need to de-escalate tensions and bring the current violence to an end, a statement said. Washington was sending a senior diplomat to the region in an effort to calm tensions. I mean... <laughs> Enhance your calm, John Spartan. <laughs> you suck! Uh, the rocket attacks and airstrikes followed unrest in Jerusalem, fomented... By clashes between Israeli police and Palestine worshippers and plans to evict Palestine's family from land claimed by Jewish settlers. Oh, God. kicking people out. What the f... Hamas, the militant group that governs the Gaza Strip, fired volleys of rockets that by Thursday morning numbered more than 50,000 Israeli officials said. Seven Israelis, included one soldier, have been killed, officials said, with the civilian deaths occurring in the Lod Ashkeling in Rishon Legion. No. I can't even pronounce these names. Incoming flights to flights to Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion Airport, Israel's main international hub, were diverted as rocket fire again prompted emergency sirens Thursday in the country's largest city. I mean, if they keep bombing Tel Aviv, you might want to move the motherfucking airport. I'm just fucking saying. Uh, the flights were diverted to Raman International Airport, which is the south of Israel and uh, more than 100 miles from Gaza. But Hamas said Thursday it had also fired at Raman. Several international airlines have. Ca oh, never mind. <laughs> Israeli has responded by launching airstrikes into Gaza, a tiny improvised enclave blockaded by Israel and Egypt, its home to 2 million Palestinians. At least 83 people, including 17 children, were killed in the Israeli bombardment, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. Israeli says it has been targeting sites related to Hamas, which it, it and the U.S. classify as terrorist organization, and that it was trying to minimize civilian casualties. By blowing up a apartment building. You should have just went in there and took people. Uh, at least on top, the Hamas commando was among the dead, according to the group's military wing, the Al Qassam Brigades. <laughs> Winning! No. You suck! Oh my fucking god, the world is going to sh It's been 80 to 100 years, and it's going to sh I go back to history. Uh, Every 80 to 100 years, there's a, there's a fucking conflict. Uh, World War Two, You know, just keep going back. 80, every, roughly 80, 80 to 100 years. This pattern goes back. Winning. No. All the way. And, it, and it's happening again. And it's sad. Because we can't learn from this. Like, you suck. I don't have the need to go stab my neighbors in the throat to figure out how to live. I, I don't. I don't get people's thought process when they attempt this crap. I really don't. It it boggles my mind. I think it's a use of fucking, a useless use of human labor, labor that could be used to do other things like making microchips that we're running out of. <laughs> but that's the latest story we'll get into. Oh my god! Just stop with the goddamn fucking centuries-old violence. I'm just fucking saying. All right, moving right along, we're gonna finally talk about that uh, labor shortage. They, everybody's talking about, I can't find a job. There are plenty of jobs out there. 